Hey, what's up team? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology. This video is on extroverted intuition as lightning or electricity or whatever the word that you like to use for that is. I'll probably be switching back and forth because I can't keep it straight in my brains. So starting out, um, any, the, the brain pattern, which is why I'm connecting it to electricity, is this Christmas tree pattern that Dario Nardi talks about. It's high amplitude, it's out of sync, and it pings a bunch of different regions when a stimuli comes in. So like if, if it's a sound that comes in, a dog barking, then it just pings all these different regions and tries to find connections. And this is kind of that fast, chaotic, bouncing, sparking ideas, uh, and sometimes producing shocking results as well, because it's just, it takes things in ways that a lot of people don't do it, right? It, it could come up with any different idea, whatever it is. And the those stimuli are springboards, right? And I thought this was a very electricity kind of related idea is you hit something and then you bounce from there. Electricity spreads out. It doesn't go like fire and how it spreads, but it, it hits something and then bounces to the next thing and the next one and the next one. It's like chain lightning or whatever you want to think of it as. Uh, also, it uses, you know, these regions that uh, support imagination and creativity and analogical play. Uh, and rapid movement and things like that, uh, it does not want to be contained. And I think this is a big fear for, uh, for NE dominance especially, is like they don't want to be contained. And it's in a different way than um, extroverted sensing. Like this is, you don't want to be prohibited from exploring new ideas and like discovering what's in the box. Even as my auxiliary function, I've been struggling for years not exploring what's in the box. Like, like there's this thing that I want to check out, and if, I, if I'm not able to do that, it drives me nuts. Like, and, and going out to the clubs and stuff like that when I was a little bit younger, uh, it was just like, I need to explore. I need to see what's out there. And I have this big fear of missing out if I don't. And so for a dominant like the ENPs, definitely, right? Even more. And um, it's, it's like catching lightning in a bottle. If you were to be able to do that and ground an NE dominant, then uh, you're doing something that most people can't do and most people think is impossible. This is not talking about, you know, a balanced person with proper auxiliary functioning and stuff like that, okay? This is just NE alone as itself, isolated and symbolized in lightning, <laughs> okay? But, you know, the, the idea of like controlling that lightning and harnessing it is uh, is a difficult thing for other people and for NE dominance themselves as well. Like, they they just want to explore stuff as well. So, you know, it's nuts. My voice is getting really high. And um, also, there's a stereotype with uh, with characters who use lightning and speed as their thing, and it's that they're bored all the time and they just kind of want to push the envelope because the rest of the world moves so slowly and I think a lot of NE dominance can understand that, the NP types as well. Just like, man, everybody moves slow and everybody's doing the same stuff. I thought about this already like eight different times in a bunch of different ways, so I'm gonna move on to the next thing. And that's that like need to bounce around and explore things. Shock bounce spread <laughs> okay anyway and some uh, ideas and idioms connected to that uh, being charged um, my ENFP friend just has a lot of energies always like excited and uh, through some of my metaphor explorations and stuff I I figured out that there's like I'm attached to this battery in my mind God, this is weird. And uh, 
that is probably extroverted intuition. It's making me like juiced and excited and just full of energy. It's a source of energy that fuels ideas. And it's quick as lightning as well. It's, <laughs> you don't have slow lightning. Uh, that would be really weird. Um, catching lightning in a bottle, I already talked about that. Amped up, juiced up, and uh, as fast as grease. Lightning, more speed and energy idioms and metaphors shocking uh, like I was saying the ideas that can come out of an NP's brain are often like unexpected and shocking just it can go in whatever direction that it goes in and there's no holding it back also lightning never strikes twice in the same place uh, I thought this was kind of interesting like it, you know, what it really means is that the same misfortune won't occur twice. But um, I think an extroverted intuitive is not going to want to explore the same idea twice as well. Not in the same way, anyway. Like, you would hit it and then you would go back and I'm going to go over here. Just, you know, play around in this area a little bit. And uh, also not wanting to be in the same situation twice the same exact situation um i know this is you know it's expanding the ideas of it and kind of playing with the the stereotypes and generalities but that's fun for me so i hope it's fun for you too uh some abilities so i was thinking like what i'm trying to do with the elements here is to give not to put somebody in a specific class uh, because I know a lot of people don't like being called a specific class like you have your preferences and stuff and that's fine But I was thinking with the elements like if I'm lightning I could be completely made of lightning I could do something like thunderclap if I was a warrior I could shoot lightning if I was more like a mage or like a ranged person I could stab somebody with an electrified dagger or something like that you see what I'm talking about like there's a lot more play within using that element in your metaphorical construction of who you are as an RPG character. And, uh, yep, yeah, spreads out, expansive, it's, uh, it has this range of damage usually in a lot of, uh, games and stuff, like from 1 to 100 damage, from 30 to 3,000, whatever it is, it's like low and high. And with the brain style, the brain pattern, that Christmas tree pattern, uh, you get creative highs and hangovers as well. Like it uses so much energy to ping all of these different regions and everything's out of sync and kind of chaotic. It's, it's draining and when you do that for long enough, you need to stop every once in a while and just be like, I need to collect my thoughts. And I was thinking this is that kind of range of damage, like, like it'll spark really high and then it's got to go back down a little bit. Um, and it's also like a defibrillator, um, shocking, lightning, electricity. These are things that can be used for good and bad, which is something I want to combine into all of these elements, is that idea that like if you play with this high voltage energy, you could die, right? <laughs> if you do it too much, if you don't settle down, if you're always playing at this really high level, then you're gonna crash. Um, but if you focus that energy, that electricity, into the right ways, like a defibrillator, clear, push, you know, you can bring a dead idea back to life. You can help somebody out. You can charge them up as well. So these were some of my ideas that I was thinking about, and uh, I would like to hear yours as well. If you are an ENP and you don't agree with lightning, uh, please let me know, you know, I, I want to hear all of these different ideas because my goal is to find elements that the majority of the dominant user uh, can agree with. 
So that's my goal here. So I want to hear below your comments, your questions, your ideas. Talk to each other as well. Like, it's not all directed at me, please. <laughs> you know, like, I want everybody's ideas to be in there and uh, bouncing around and chaotic and, you know, sparking ideas. Okay? All right, so thank you very much for watching. Keep up the lifelong questing. Thank you, patrons. Good luck, have fun. Peace.